good morning to you. This is Kakaki Social. I'm Rena Obozigye. Happy hour. Okay, so from politics, we begin today to say that Ifanyi Uba, the senator representing Anambra South, has blamed irreconcilable differences between himself and his party, the Young Progressives Party, YPP, as the reason for his defection to the APC. Now, his defection makes the YPP senatorless, if that works. I mean to say that they no longer have any representative, as Uba was the only representative of the party on the red floor. Now, after the announcement, Uba further disclosed that his constituent inspired his decision. They want him in a party that reflects his aspirations and values. And he also wants you to know that his action is nonetheless primarily in the interest of the Southeast. Like, he wants to make sure they gain from this administration. And I think uh, in this uh, movement, it is all about the betterness of my constituency and um, those who have um, a lot of um, confidence in my uh, renewed um, vision to see how I can you know, contribute towards the development of Nigeria and then as well to my constituency. And uh, I also believe um, I'm still in the progressive family. Coming from young progressive to all progressive, it is still the same progressive. What informed me to go to APC is my um, understanding of politics that it is better for me at this particular point in time to move to the center party in order to give demo, uh, democratic dividend to my constituency. A typical politician right there, progressives is progressive, young or old or all. Okay, let's have some reaction. For Hillary, he says, a step in the right direction, and I can assure you that this administration will not let down the people of the Southeast. For another user, he says, they are just catching crews with Southeast. This one is looking for a solid party to use to contest for Anambra state election because YPP, he used, failed his governorship bid twice, but he decided to lie in the public. Toby says YPP should push for his sack in the court. He wasn't an independent candidate, he's a candidate of YPP, and if YPP disagrees with this move, he can be fired by the court. But in reaction to Toby, it says court is APC, APC is court. He joined them, so they will defend him. Okay, now again from the National Assembly, the Senator representing Nasarawa South Senatorial District, Mohamed Onawo, has assured the Senate President, Gosri Lakwabio, that history would judge him for failing to observe established protocols in the passage of bills. He was seeking a, ch a change in approach to the hasty consideration and adoption of bills, including sensitive ones like those on money without a due work, like a thorough job being done of them and the impact they may have on Nigerians. Since we started this Senate, you said it's a corrective Senate. We have been ambushed all the time that bills are very sensitive bills are brought and are expected to be passed with the speed of light, which is not good for this country. Every senator here is supposed to be adequately informed he does his research, he comes to the floor and makes a positive contribution. But in a situation where even money bills are brought and we are expected to pass it within two hours, it doesn't make sense, it doesn't go well for this country. Sir, you are on seat today. History is going to judge you that things like this are not good for this country. If what you are passing with the speed of light is in the interest of Nigerians, History will judge me right. I don't think we will come here to pass a bill that will not be in the interest of the Nigeria. So your point of order is not it. <laughs> All right, let's have some reactions to this. Okay, Chuku says it's time to come to the work being done by the Senate president for the country or oh, in times to come, the work being done by the Senate President for the country will be appreciated. I believe he has the best interest of the people at heart. Ayo says, Akpabio's response was wrong. He should be careful because one, the Red Chamber is Nigerian Senate, not APC. Two, he's the Senate President of Nigeria, not APC. And three, his colleagues entrust the seats to him. 
for more reactions. Ambrose says senators could impeach the president if they think in their wisdom that is acting against the rules. They should simply do the needful when it becomes expedient for the good of the country. For Anoje, he says the issue of the two to Fed is of the general house, but because they have refused to address the issue of senators not showing up to sittings. That is why they keep being in doubt of what a two third means. Senators get paid for not going to work. This is something civil servant cannot afford to do. All right, let's go to Lagos and bring you an old video of two aggrieved men who had to resort in destroying their vehicles after they collided with each other on a Lagos road has resurfaced online. Now, according to eyewitnesses who were cheering them on for whatever reason, the incident occurred when one of the drivers inadvertently hit the other with his vehicle while driving. This didn't meet the other driver well, who got a stick and damaged the other's car. Hmm. Someone was saying that it's about three people, nine normal for Lagos, but then I know that you are definitely one of the three, right? So it's not like I'm talking to you. All right, to our final story. A Nigeria pilot has become a social media sensation, even though it's a passenger's face you would see in the video, for his pre-flight speech. Now, instead of the conventional English you would expect, Infaye, as he introduced himself, chose to communicate in typical Nigerian pidgin English that has got everyone talking. For information, they reach us for hand, yeah, toxic. The ones where we don't feed dodge, we don't feed jump, we go chest and small, romance sound, but we go see many movements, make it tell them for our body. Person where they sleep, feet sleep, they carry a hand time, don't want it, no go no. All right, uh, let's have some reactions. It seems uh, passengers would prefer that we have um, announcements made this way. Chinomso says, um, better than using British or fake American accent to talk to your customers made of mostly Nigerians. It was a local flight from Wari to Lagos. Wendy says, this is how it should be, not those spree spree people where they sound like mosquitoes. And also in reaction, this user says, love it. Communication is about passing information. And if the other party gets what you mean, then you communicate it. Definitely. Our last reaction is from Don, who says, wow, so pigeon is the hack. I could hear everything distinctively, but if it was the normal way, you would most hear shushi, shali, popi, couscous, fishy, kilishi. Thank you. Apparently, a good job right there. And for all operators of airline, a demand has been placed on you by your customers. Maybe you want to consider more of if I is. So that's everything on Kakaki Social today. I'll see you again on Monday. Bye for now. Good morning, Uncle. Good morning, Rena, and thank you for.